Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and uh, before we uh, do anything, I did uh, grind a little bit off screen, um, Valor Form and Master Form, so now I have Aerial Dodge, well, and I got some other abilities too, so, oh, Vicinity Break, yeah, we got that last episode, and, uh, of course I don't have enough AP to equip it, so. Let me very quickly. So yeah, aerial dodge is pretty much a double jump, so it'll be pretty useful. All right. Uh, oh, I did level a little of the uh, the summons. Not a huge deal. I'll, I'll show Stitch off in a little bit, but uh, it's time for this plot twist. These things take time, okay? Actually, I'll just go ahead and say this part's probably gonna be 70% cutscenes. Oh, huh? to but we do get some awesome stuff, so really I can't complain too much. No way. Even Ansem's computer doesn't know. I still don't know why Zora thinks Ansem's computer will know. It's I know it's high-tech, but it's still pretty old. It probably hasn't been updated in the past year. What's this? The data is corrupt. Really? How about the organization? There. The data is corrupt. No, of course not. This is what I do to my computer every every time it just messes up. Just bang on it. And who the heck is this guy? Mickey. Aww. Good going. The computer should tell us the things we need to know. But it keeps on saying the data inside's all kerskuffled. All we got is a picture of some guy we don't know. Handsome, the wise. What? Come on, are you teasing us again? Then you can get my eyes from your dad, your majesty. Of course I do, and this is him. I'm positive. Uh, Mickey, uh, Excuse uh. Me. Could you come this way, please? That thing, uh, that. Look, this is Ansem. You know, the guy we all worked really hard to defeat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, the man in the picture is definitely the one who tried to take over Kingdom Hearts. The one you fellas defeated. But what you actually fought was his heartless. You see, he wasn't really handsome. He just went around telling everybody that he was. Dump, dump, dump. So the guy that we defeated in the first game wasn't the real Ansem. He was a heartless. And the guy in the picture is not Ansem either. Yep, a fake. But he still had to be stopped. So the actual Ansem is not the villain. If he's a fake, then what happened to the real Ansem? Well, that's just what I'm trying to figure out. I'm sorry, folks. I love Kingdom Hearts. But this, for me, in terms of the story, is where it jumped the sharks from. Jump the shark for me. Uh, I still, I, I remember when I first saw this cutscene. I was like, really? Like, we're pulling like, oh, he's not the villain thing. It's. Lost enough as it is. And Kingdom, there's gonna be some dumber plot twists like in later games, but this for me, after this happened, I'm like, okay, this story is just doesn't know what it's trying to be anymore. Yup, and that nobody is the leader of the organization. What? I know I've met this fake handsome before, and I've seen. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts two. We're getting we defeated uh, the heartless form, and then this game, we gotta fight the nobody form. Gosh, I 
can't remember. Ansem the Wise, the real Ansem, must know the imposter's true identity. That's why I've got to find him and ask him about it. You. You started all of this. Because of you, Riku and Kairi. Oh, Your Majesty, do you know where Riku is? He's... I'm Mickey? Sorry. I can't help. Mickey? What do you know? Really, Your Majesty? Are you sure? I'm sorry, Sora. Mickey. What about Kyrie? Organization 13 might have kidnapped her. Oh no. Oh no. They have Kyrie. So oh, goofy. goofy. Sorry. I was planning to go get help from Ansem the Wise, but now I know I forgot the most important thing. Helping others should always come before asking others for help. We're safe and sound and free to choose. Aw, I love that shot of Mickey. To help our friends. Let's look for Riku and Kairi together. I do like Mickey and the, the black coat. Outside. Sounds like we gotta start by helping out here. Alright, so that just happened, the plot twist. Okay, well, we're back to gameplay. Let me check. Customize. I think I got... Yeah, fire. Do I wanna... Uh, I think I'm good. I'll stick to Oathkeeper. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta show up Stitch. I'm not a huge fan of uh, him as a summon, but... I. Guess I'll show him off. He's actually, uh, the only time I use him is during the, uh, the Colosseum fights. Oh my god, more cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, man, this, I don't know what it is about this part of the game. The, the, the developers are like, just shove all these cutscenes in here. And it's gonna get much worse. Pete. You pathetic coward. Pete. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny when you think about it. Like, she's like, oh, you pathetic coward. And then Sora, Donald, Goofy, and she's like, oh, shit. Okay, I'm out of here, too. Again, it's been a while since I watched all the cutscenes, so. All right. Oh, the pink guys are annoying, especially critical mode. All right. Uh, oh, Stitch. Stitchy. Ah, ah, ew. So I love Stitch as a character. Him as a summons, okay. So as you can see, like he's kind of on our screen and he'll like shoot off his blasters at the uh heartless oh god i hate that move so much uh ohana i so yeah ukulele shoot and you'll get a bunch of hp balls not super useful but it's okay I probably won't use them much in until I get to the Colosseum, at least. Oh, these guys are a pain, too. Reflect them. And you're good. Come on, Stitch. Shoot. Come on, Stitch. Shoot some more stuff. Stitch, don't just lick the screen. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, uh, he uh, plays the ukulele and more HP balls come out. Oh, it's these three. Where's Maleficent? Looks like she ran away. Yes, she did. Because of her. I guess we picked the wrong side. She is supposed to be 
So these three, honestly, they don't really do anything. Well, uh, they do give you a Keyblade, but it's kind of pointless for them to be here. It's just more fan service and to put more uh, Final Fantasy characters in the game. Sure, why not? Perfect. Come on. Who are you? Oh, we're nothing worth mentioning. My name's Riku. Later, taters. Yeah, they don't actually say their names out loud, I guess, to avoid the confusion between Did the two Rikus. Really have any treasure? Oh, Donald. <laughs> See, battles, like, cutscene battles are always fun to watch. Like, get out of my way! And, oh! Oh! I'm back, bitches. I think I said this a couple of parts ago. The, the fight, the Sephiroth fight in the first game is confirmed to not be canon. Of Cloud's heart? Huh. Did Cloud tell you that? I don't know if I mentioned this in KH1, but uh, in that game, he's voiced by Lance Bass Nothing. from NSYNC, which is pretty Cloud funny to think about. In this game, uh, I forgot the voice actor's name, but he played Superman in the animated show. A good choice, I have to say. Then I should give him what he wants. That last bit of light is always the hardest to snuff out. Well, bye. Huh? They came from that hole over there. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a Final Mix exclusive part of the game. You can go in there if you want. What? I don't remember that being there before. I wonder where it leads. We don't have time for that, no. We, have, we gotta go after the king. Yeah, you could go in there if you want. I highly recommend you don't. That is gonna be post-game stuff. I'm just gonna say that right now. I ain't dealing with that till the post game. We'll help. Sora, behind you. That's probably the most emotion Aerith has in this game. Oh shoot. I meant to use a magnet. Yeah, these guys are a pain. That one attack where they like uh they pick you up and they throw you is so annoying and it's pretty much uh insta kill in critical mode actually can i get that treasure no i can't oh well uh limit form oh shoot okay <laughs> oh well i can finally show this off so uh that thing i've been like like, thinking was gonna happen, finally happened. This is anti-form. This is pretty much a punishment for using your drives too much. So it looks pretty cool, like Sora is basically a Heartless, but uh, it ain't cool. It has some pretty cool combos, but uh, for starters, the combos are weak. They're, they don't really do that much damage. Uh, you cannot use magic. You cannot leave anti-form until the drive bar goes all the way down. You cannot use uh, your reaction commands and your party members disappear. So I, I don't like it at all. I mean, some players have found a use for it, but anytime it comes up, I'm just like, oh, I want to get out of this form, especially during boss fights. Oh, God. Screw you. Yeah, boss fight. It's really annoying. Kings in the Bailey. You better head over there. All right.
uh something else about oh yeah the how anti-form works is anytime you uh you activate valor wisdom master or limit form the counter there's like an in-game counter that the game doesn't really go into but it'll increase by one so the higher your number is the higher chance you have of getting anti-form oh. and when anti-form activates uh the counter goes down by five uh, the counter does reset to zero every time you get a new form. Uh, so I guess because I grinded my uh, my forms off screen, that probably increased the counter a little bit. There are circumstances where it is impossible to get anti-form. Uh, one of those is uh, when Sora is by himself. He has no party members. Uh, also, when both party members are knocked out. Also, you can't get anti-form if you are not in battle mode. So if you activate a drive form, like when you're not in a battle, you won't get it. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, I don't I just don't like anti-form. I'm oh, a stitch. Oh, I forgot about this part. Oh. OK, uh, oh, what's her name? Pain? Uh, Pain, Riku, and... Yuna? Yeah, I think that's right. I'm telling you, man, this, is, this one part's going to have a lot of cutscenes. Um, I might split this up into two parts just to see where we're at, but... This is actually pretty cool. Uh... Squall and uh, Cloud, two characters from two different uh, Final Fantasy games interacting. Oh, <laughs> I'm back, bitches. I'm gonna just put my controller down, just enjoy this. Like, I, I don't remember the last time I watched these cutscenes. Probably when I first got the 2.5 remix for the PS3. Oh god, look how long that sword is. Dang. Trying to make up for something, I guess. Do you think you can erase your past? Shut up! Face it. You turn your back on the present and live in the past. Because the light of the present is too much. You don't know me! Cloud! <laughs> Tifa! Oh, not yet. Because Sorry, I spoiled that. I am you. Cloud! Wait! Huh? Fuck you, fuck you! Aww! Tifa does not need any weapons. She just punches the shit out of them. Leon, everybody, hang in there. All right. Oh, all right. I should say. Uh, that was a pretty long cutscene. Um, before I do anything, do I have any? Okay. Uh, do I want to go ahead and use? Yeah, I guess I'll use one. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's prepare for this battle. Let's fight all these heartless. God damn it. Okay, fellas, you <laughs> like, yeah, let's Leon fight. Mickey. Don't worry. There's already lots of help here. We'll take care of this fight. But I promised Leon. Donald, Goofy, take Sora and get going. Dude, it, you're supposed to say Sora, Donald, Goofy. Give me a little time, okay? This is actually some really nice character development, I have to say. If this was the first game, like, Sora wouldn't, like, not even hesitate. Like, okay, rescue Sora, or rescue Riku and Kairi, because that's kind of all who, care who, he, who he cared about. But now he's gotten closer to, like, Donald Goofy and the Final Fantasy characters. He's now, like, he's now, like, wait, no, I can't just... I can't just leave them and go rescue my... Sora, or Riku and Kairi, they're my friends now. Good. 
gotcha. Well then, skedaddle. I don't know why that line has no audio. Hmm. Whatever. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Uh. Hope you can forgive us. <laughs> Mickey is like probably like. Oh, but I'm the master of an evil corporation. Oh well, it can't be helped. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, so I need to point out, this is also a Final Mix exclusive cutscenes. So, we're in this huge battle, right? The Heartless are, like, attacking. Sora just said, like, no, I gotta stay and help. Don and Goofy are with us. We have this huge battle. And then we just cut to this scene. This is probably the most... Actually, no, I take that back. At least it's still in Hollow Bastion. Obviously, it's Ansem's study. Have you ever wanted to watch a, just a whole cutscene of a guy just walking and walking? Well, this is it. I guess Namora always wanted to do it, so yeah, more walking. Witness the amazing adventures of this guy in a black robe just walking down a secret passageway. And look at this. We had to just walk. <laughs> we had to watch a walk all this. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? I want to know. Like, seriously, we have to watch him. He's still going. He's keep going. Still going. Okay, good. At least they cut ahead. And he's still walking. <laughs> this is... Oh, my God. I told you, man. The pacing... Of these cutscenes are awful. We cut ahead and he's still walking. <laughs> this is this is just so ridiculous. It's pretty hilarious. Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking. They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten. Okay. We're almost there, right? Come on. <laughs> He's still going. Walking, 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 walking. Seems so easy now. Oh my god. Finally made it. I remember that being much longer, but... It has been far too long, friend. Oh, who the heck is that? Well, we'll have to wait until birth by sleep, but glad that cutscene's over, right? And now we have another cutscene. This ran the first cutscene. Okay, at least it took place in Hollow Bastion, and you can make the argument. Okay, it's taking place at the same time as this battle, but then we cut to here, a completely different location. Is it? Where is Lord Zemnis? Obviously, uh, Zexion is still alive, so it's not the present day. It's obviously in the past, because so, Zexion obviously died in Jada Memories. That isn't funny. Oh, this is also a final mix uh, cutscene. But the clock is ticking. Time is running out. What to do? 
Why is he never around when I need I should have made some popcorn or something cuz I mean I have uh, some apples close by I don't like just enjoying the show What about you Zexian? What do you think? I think eavesdropping is intrusive. Why are you even here? You and Zaldin were tasked to recruit new members. Have you forgotten or were you procrastinating? As if I'm doing my job. I'll have you know, I found one just yesterday. Mar something. That puts the organization... So yeah, at this point, Marley should have just joined the organization. So it's... Um... Probably before... I want to rest up for tomorrow. Or during K-1, this cutscene. Nice and refreshed. Is that so? Well then, I will leave you to it. I have work to catch up on. Good day. Alright, cuts... <laughs> So long. Be like that. Come on, stay and talk. Uh, I think my another big problem with this game, well, at these cutscenes in particular with the organization, I just never thought they were that interesting characters. When a bunch of warriors, aside from Larkseen and Axel, and maybe this guy talking. I don't really like any of them, and anytime like it just focuses on them just talking, it's just, it's not it's so boring. And I get the point. They're like they're supposed to be the villains, and the villains are usually the best part of any story. But honestly, I think I think the organization is probably the worst part of the Kingdom Hearts series. It's a graveyard. And to be fair, I think they do have some great boss fights. Especially in this game, but other than that, they're just, I don't like them. And what's even more, or weirder is, obviously this is supposed to be a Disney game, and Disney has some of the best Disney villains in movie history. Like, they're so iconic. And we got a lot of that in the first game, but then they're like, okay, let's just make our own villains. And it's like, why? And I, I can understand having, like, Ansem in the first game be an original character but did you have to make all these really not interesting villains if there was just one of them but the fact there's 13 of them and there most of them are just not interesting it's one of the it's one of the aspects of the kingdom hearts story i just never liked give me maleficent give me jafar give me ursula give me the disney villains over these guys any day anyway i mean i mean to be fair a lot of people like the organization and that's totally fine i just i i don't and the fact that they keep reappearing and even after this game is just uh okay they're basically talking about this is basically set up for birth by sleep i'll just i'll just go ahead and say instructed by someone other than xemnas himself and that's where he'll find it. That's where he'll find his other friend. So yeah, the last cutscene was one birth about one birth by sleep character, and this is about another. Uh, who? Well, we'll wait until birth by sleep to figure that out. But honestly, those cutscenes were pretty pointless to add, in my opinion. Okay, back to the fucking fight. God. Seriously. Yeah. Hey, you guys are looking lively. Scaram! Didn't we catch you messing around in the underworld? How'd a wimp like you get into Organization 13? So I've been recording for about I bet you almost 30 that. minutes. And I think uh, I've only played like gameplay wise like what? Three minutes? I'm telling you, man, this this part of the game, they just dump a bunch of cutscenes at you. Who is this kook? Remember, the organization's made up of nobodies. Right. No hearts. You know, I think I am going to split this into two parts because, uh, spoilers, there's going to be even more cutscenes coming up. Silent. What's up? All right, boss fight. Demix, baby. 
So we kind of fought him in the underworld, but we're going to fight him for real. And he's going to be water based. Dance, water, dance. OK, first thing we got to do, we got to destroy all of his forms. So triangle reaction is your best friend. Uh, and they are actually weak to fire, so definitely want to use that if you need to. Oh, by the way, if you do fail this, uh, then it's an automatic game over. So, uh, don't fail it. Okay. What the? Oh, God. So I'm going to be using uh, fire against him because, like I said, he's weak to fire. Uh, I just reflect at this part. Oh. Shoot. Come to me. All right, I got a. Uh, I might use limit form. He does have one reaction command when he tries to. It's kind of hard to do, and oh my god, I need a heal. No. I did not just uh <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Uh thankfully you can skip the cutscenes or before I do anything. I think that's my I think that's my first game over now I think about it. Yeah, I think it is. Oh well. But I will definitely be cutting ahead because we do not need to watch all that crap again. Uh I guess I'll cut back right here. Uh so that water dance thing. I probably should have put on thunder as well, but oh well. All right, just run away from that. Uh. I mean, Demix can be fairly challenging. Oh, there's the reaction command. Did I get it? Yes, I did. All right. Yeah, there's not a very large window to get that, so. Limit form is boss. Oh, up. Uh. Get to the beat. Okay. Yeah, he will occasionally uh, get the water forms out again. Again, if you fail, then game over. So, don't game over. Oh, shoot. I meant to... Uh, I was trying to do a uh, Sonic Blade, but my drive went ran out. Okay, this part, just run. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why. That's such a cool attack. Damn it. Okay. I got the reflect on him. Huh. I usually don't have that much this much trouble with this fight. I don't know why. I don't want to dance with water. Uh. All right, we're good. I think we're good. Come on. Oh, shoot. I thought it was going to do something else. Oh, you guys are just not helping me.
I meant to guard, but that's all right. Okay, I thought I could guard against that. Oh well. He's gonna counterattack probably. Okay, reaction command. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> My spit went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> I could have sworn I can guard against this. Oh, darn it. Yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, I definitely should have put on Thunder. That a wall. Oh, you butt. <laughs> you ruined my Sonic Blade! Oh, you gonna die. There we go. How dare you! You ruined my beautiful Sonic Blade! Well, whatever. I think that was our, that was our first uh, organization fight, right? Well, technically Axel. But that was with Roxas. Okay, funny funny story. So again, I first imported the game in uh like 2009 and there was like an English like mod Anyone where you can um like to be next? everything can be like in English, but they they directly translated the uh the Japanese version and he actually says damn it right there. I was like, "What? Damn it." I know I mean damn it's not really a big swear word, but like in Kingdom Hearts, yeah, that's a big one. You got some explaining to do, ho huh? You sure have lots of friends to help. Oh, I can't be mad at you. Uh -oh. <laughs> I guess we better all that sounded more like Goofy and Mickey good. right there. Yes, Your Majesty. And we get the most ridiculous and yet the most awesome part. Well, something ridiculous happens and then awesomeness. The fuck was that? Some random ass rock like hits him. Come on, wake up. I'm sorry about the ice cream. So, uh, Goofy dies. Uh, uh, Goofy just up and dies. Like, just. It can't be happening. Goofy. It can't. Dies. And then Mickey is like. They'll pay for this. I'm gonna kill everybody now. Yeah, Goofy's- he's dead, you guys. He- he- he's just dead. I don't know why, Mick, Mickey Mouse, like, taking off his robe, I always thought that was pretty badass. So, yeah. Goofy's- he's gone, you guys. He's dead. I can't believe it. Goofy is officially dead. How'd this happen? We got to win this man. We got to win this fight for him. Did I get new... S oh, no, I didn't. Okay. All right. Now, it's personal. Okay, this part's pretty cool. Uh, all the Final Fantasy characters, like, team up with you. Not as official party members. Again, I like to use the Magnet. Magnet is just a really great way to control the battlefield. One thing that's real bullshit, at least I think it's bullshit, 
Granted, this part's not really hard, but if you somehow die at this part, you have to fight Demix again. I learned that the hard way when I first played a uh, level one and I died. I had to go back and face Demix and Demix took me like 10 times. So I was, I was so pissed. Like really, we had to fight Demix again. Uh. Oh, you butts. All right. All oh, these guys again. Uh. Limit. Yeah, I definitely want to level up Limit. And we got Dodge Roll! Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful Dodge Roll. I can't equip it just yet, but we got it. Um, screw it, use neither. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I'm telling you, man, freaking Sonic Blade is just the absolute shit. Remember, guys, we're doing all this for Goofy. Goofy is dead. Damn you. Damn you all. Goofy is gone because of you. But we will avenge you, Goofy. We will definitely avenge you. Oh, you... Okay, I appreciate the help, but you ruined my magnet. Oh, well. Thanks, anyway. For Goofy! Goofy! Oh, man. I remember when I first saw Goofy. The very first cartoon I ever watched. It was the one where, um... He was a crazy ass driver. Yeah, that was the first gar uh, goofy cartoon I ever watched. I knew about him before then, but that was the one I first watched. And man, what an intro. If you haven't seen that cartoon, man, it is something. Goofy was like a completely different character like back in the day. He was kind of a dick. All right. Well, you guys all right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but... <sighs> hey, fellas! <gasps> Goofy! He's alive? You know, that no! Oh, He's alive! He's alive! Goofy! <laughs> I can't believe it, man. He's a <laughs> He's a Goofy, I thought you were gone for good. Anyway, they got here. Yeah, if you actually thought Goofy was dead, uh... No, he's not. Okay, one thing that's kind of bullshit about Goofy rejoin, you have to put all his crap back on again, all of his abilities. Uh... Yeah, seriously, what was the point of all that? I don't know, but... Yay, Goofy's back. Uh... I guess that's fine. Yeah, we had to put everything back on him. Uh, I don't think I had anything on him here, right? No, probably not, but screw it. Screw it. Might as well. I don't. We don't ever want to use him again, and don't you get nothing. Nothing. How come? Because you didn't just die. That's why. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm... Probably gonna stop here, but a uh, few items we can get. Including the torn page. So yeah, we'll definitely take care of that after all this crap. AP boost, and this is the map, I believe. And one more. Oh, no, I don't care. Donald, I don't care about you. 
an energy crystal. Actually, what does Goofy say? I uh, hear. I don't know what happened, but sorry if I made you worry. What could happen next? We better prepare ourselves for anything. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm glad everyone's all right, but we can't just relax just yet. We have to rally together for all our friends' sakes. Okay, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're gonna stop here. It's, uh, because again, there's gonna be a lot more cutscenes, and also next episode, we're gonna do the poo world, or we ever have a poo break, so, uh, Goofy! We'll never take you for granted ever again. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.